All right, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial on what we do for crappie fishing. Uh, these are a couple of the same jigs that we gave you guys. We got a whole bunch of them that we paint up. And these are the plastics that we gave you guys. Uh, if you look close, you can see there's kind of a hump on one side and it's kind of flat on the other side. You generally want the hump to be on the top side, but I, after catching 30 or so fish, I flip it over and keep using it till the appendages all fall off. Anyway, for threading it on the hook, it's just like any normal plastic. You just start at the, the skinny end here and you just thread her down onto the hook, figure out where it's gonna come out on the body and poke through so that you have a piece of plastic that hangs on the hook nice and clean like that. There, that's a good view. Then, when you're actually using the baits, um, the, the line tie on the jig will move occasionally as you're, as you're using the baits. Um, and if you catch a fish, that line tie is definitely going to go up. Um, what you want to do with these baits for the action of these baits, you want to adjust that line tie so that it's, so that it hangs horizontal in the water. Um, because what that does, the drag on the line, as you jig the lure, the drag on the line is gonna be kind of, the line is gonna be kind of like this in the water. And when you pull, it's gonna pull up. If the, if the line is like this, the line is gonna be sitting more like this in the water. And when you pull, it's just gonna move forward. The, the key for what we do with crappies is you get that thing to move up and then it kind of flutters back down and you jig it up and then it flutters back down. And we're, we use high vis line typically like this. Uh, um, this is just some Bass Pro Shops uh, four pound uh, crappie mono. Um, but we, we use high vis line and we're just watching for a tick in the line. We're never using bobbers. You can use these under bobbers. Um, but again, you want to make sure that that jig is hanging horizontal in the water. Um, but we try to use as light a jig as possible for the wind conditions and, and, uh, just kind of pitch that jig out and let it drop down and just kind of work it back to the boat. And when you feel the thump, you know, you know exactly what you got. There you go.